Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a business plan with ChatGPT. Before we start, hurry up and check out their software just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, for you to create a business plan with ChatGPT, there's a few things that you need to remember here and some tips that you need to take in consideration. So in this case, uh, we first need to discuss how ChatGPT actually works. Well, ChatGPT works with the data that you actually provide. So meaning if you just ask ChatGPT here, hey, create or help me create a business plan. So it might or it will, it will not do the best or it will not give you the best result itself. So meaning you need to provide more details for ChatGPT to give you the best result that is tailored for you. So in this case, uh, the first first tip that I could give you here is first you need to know what are your goals, what are the things that you like to do here, what is your budget, and what type of niche that you are going to. So for example, I actually will using uh, I will be using the following data here that I've just written on my notepad. So first, I want to include the following prompt here. So help me create a business plan using the following details. Now, in this case, first I want to do here is I first want to indicate my initial budget. So for example, this is just my budget here, but you could indicate your own. So in this case, I just mentioned here with ChatGPT, I'm just starting up with my business in drop shipping and I have a budget of $500, which is not that big. So you might, or in this case, you might not venture much on advertising or in this case other stuff you might be focusing more on the products that you'll be uh, releasing or in this case for your business now i also indicated here that says i'd like to use an easy to use platform for drop shipping specifically want to drop ship using spot uh, shopify which in this case uh, it actually uh, specifies or in this case gives ChatGPT idea what platform I want to use. So in this case, they will actually leverage that and give you the best tips or the best details key, uh, tailored for your business plan here. Now also, I gave any specific section here that says I like to venture into clothing job shipping. Now, if you want to venture into like, for example, home products or home appliances job shipping, make sure to also indicate that. So in this case, make sure the things that you want to do or include in your business plan are actually included on your prompt. So with any other AI, not just with ChatGPT, your prompts is really important because that will actually determine the uh, quality of the result that you'll be getting on. Now, also, I included a section here that says I'd like to have plans for advertising and expanding the business, which in this case uh, actually includes the idea that I want to expand it later on. I want to improve my business. I want to make it a lot bigger than it is going to be uh, starting now. <laughs> so in this case, I also include the section here that I like to know what I need to prioritize first when starting my business here. Just to give or in this case, uh, just boost uh, ChatGPT here to give me an idea on what I should focus first. So in this case, let's go and copy our prompt here and we want to go ahead and enter this into ChatGPT and just basically click on enter. So in this case, this might actually take a while for you to, or in this case, generate. So in this case, you could go and just wait for this to generate. So let's just wait for it and let's go ahead and return in a bit. And as you can see right now, it's now fully generated. Now in this section, it's going to actually give you all the details that you need here. That includes the executive summary here, some objectives, business overview, your market research that includes your target audience, competitor analysis here. So in this case, uh, if you're like, for example, since we indicated what our niche here, so in this case for clothing, consider demographics like age, gender, location, and interest. Now in this case, you could go ahead and start uh, basically uh, finalizing or in this case uh, making your details as, sh as sharp as you can so make it as specific as you can so that you know more details later on now in this case i will be util utilizing that later on so we have budget allocation here since we indicated the 500 budget here so it's going to give you the shopify plans that we have here domain name here the pricing for that store a store team, product listings, marketing, and all of those details. We also have the platform set up here. How do we set up our Shopify store? 
And we also have marketing and advertising uh, section that includes social media presence, paid advertising, and influencer collaboration. We also have operations, expansion plan, and prioritizations, and just gives uh, just giving you details or in this case ideas on how what to prioritize in your business. We also have risk management, which is really important for any business out there. And we also have the conclusion section here. Now, in this case, uh, using ChatGPT here is actually quite easy and quite fun because in this section so it actually you don't need to actually like for example you want to actually add few more details with the prompt that you've just actually added in here so in this case so you could just basically talk like or in this case have a chat with chat gpt here and just say um i i want to uh maybe i want to focus specifically in asia first so if you want to actually uh, add more details here, you could just ask ChatGPT here to add more, or in this case, a few more details. So in this case, I want to focus specifically in Asia first. So you could go ahead and just click on enter here, and that would actually update the actual prompt that we just re uh, received here. So in this case, this will actually update the market research section. So in this case, we have this section. So the executive summary does not change that much. So in this case, you should be able to see the updated uh, prompt in here. But yeah, so in this case, that's how you create a business plan with ChatGPT here. So the main tip here is make sure to be as specific as you can here if you know what are your goals or in this case, your details, what platforms you want to use. But then again, if you don't have those details yet, it's best to do your research first because the more details I provide ChatGPT here, the better the quality of the prompts that you'll be, uh, in this case, the better the quality the results that you'll be getting uh, later on. But in this case, that is, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.